Welcome to Ascension Update, looking at the June and July energies. And in this video, we'll also incorporate some meridian work through some Qigong and breathing exercises. All right, so what's going on right now with the energies? We're getting a lot of spikes in energy, particularly the Schumann, uh, the, uh, the rating system for the Earth frequency measurement is really, really spiking up and down, and sometimes even off the chart. A lot of summer solstice energies are coming in, and anytime those energies come in from the solstice, um, they can be pretty impactful and people can really feel them. Usually for a few weeks before and a few weeks after, sometimes even longer. Um, we're also right now dealing with the 777 energy. That's the July 7th energy. If we add the two, the two, and the three, we get a seven. So there's our 777 anytime we get multiples like that. That's really impactful energy. Uh, we're continuing to balance out the right masculine and the left feminine. And many people are just suddenly awakening. It is a time of releasing, letting go, the end of many cycles. It's also a great time for upgrading. And we may find that many uh, major life changes are happening. It's a time of divine choice, choosing your reality, re-evaluating your life, and it's a great, great opportunity to level. Could be collectively a lot of time, a, lot, a great time of lots of births and deaths. Blockages are really being shown to us in our lives to present what needs to be cleared once and for all. The planet frequency bandwidth is also rising and new experiences are being presented. Maybe things that you've never thought of or seen before are all of a sudden appearing. That's usually a change in frequency uh, to something um, that we never thought possible, you know, that is that is being presented. So that can be really exciting. Uh, we can also be getting a lot of fearful experiences, which really show us the need for clearing in that area. And we're continuing to understand how deep corruption is, how conditioned we are. And a lot of us are just getting a uh, desire to detach and move away from the old way of living. Physically, extreme fatigue is still happening for a lot of us as we're sort of being slowed down to just really take on more of the energies. We like to do a lot of stuff. So a lot of times when we get the extreme fatigue, it's just sort of the universe's way of just making us sort of go on pause for a little bit to acclimate to the energies. Uh, a lot of light workers are reporting nausea. Um, we're getting some solar plexus activity, which makes sense because we do have the, uh, the solstice energy um, in certain parts of the world. We're heading into summer, so we are getting that uh, brightness and the yellow energy. And also, of course, with us stepping more into being who we truly are um, at a soul level, um, that all comes from that divine will of the solar plexus region. Definitely the need to rest because of all this activity going on right now is paramount. Possible headaches as we open up more chakra areas, uh, particularly the crown and the third eye. Uh, again, the need to nap, just the quick naps, the power naps, so we can re-energize is pretty popular. Um, we may finding a des having a, a desire to drink more, to stay more hydrated. Um, maybe I'll also have a desire to eat more salt. You might be getting more itching on the skin, rashes. Uh, we're also experiencing more throat chakra clearing, of course, as we are expressing who we truly are at a soul level. And we're getting a purging of things that no longer align. Coughing as well, of course, as more of that um, yeah, some of those blockages come out of that throat chakra area and really be presenting itself. A lot of other common physical symptoms right now could be cramping um, or twitching as the density leaves the body, a lot of burping, or the Buddha belly, that's the expansion or kind of that bloating going on in that, that sacral and the solar plexus regions. Uh, liver, gallbladder, and kidney meridians are really being greatly affected and numbness in our hands and feet. Feeling uh, chills can be an indication that the plasma light body is coming online. Um, a lot of people are reporting inner nose dryness. Uh, one good treatment for that is a colloidal silver spray. That works for you. Also joint stiffness and pain. Again, a lot of DNA is very dense in these areas. And so we do um, get that pain in order to, to show us that we're getting some more deep clearing going on. 
course, always consult your doctor. Or always look at other things in your life that could be problematic for you. We don't want to blame everything on ascension symptoms. Um, they could just be, you know, presenting to us other things that we have going on in our bodies that really need to be uh, looked at. So do do pay attention to your body and uh, do go to your physician, whoever that may be, a naturopath, a homeopath, Chinese medicine doctor, energy doctor, a regular physician, and just really get to the root of something that's really causing you problems. Um, other things that you may be experiencing right now are just the feeling of heaviness. This could be very physically um, and emotionally, psychologically, um, it's sort of the way that the world is happening. And we can really have that heaviness in our bodies as we're taking all that on at a physical level. The knee pain relates, of course, to a lot of the joint stiffness that we're getting. Um, you might be getting very hot or very cold in certain body parts. Your eyes might may be going in and out of focus. Um, diet changes are still really popular right now as people no longer eat things that they used to or eating things they never have. Maybe they're going from vegetarians to meat eaters to from meat eaters to vegetarians. Uh, and go according to how you feel. No one person is going to have the same experience. Sternum and thyroid um, uh, pain and issues coming up around their rashes are happening up in that um, region of our bodies, as well as the dizziness. And the vertigo is still happening for some people as we take on those energies really quickly. It can be really hard to ground them. So we can often get that, that feeling of being out of sorts from that. So make sure you do some grounding work and, of course, rest and uh, listen to your body. And just a lot of physical body changes in general. Maybe you're gaining weight quickly or losing weight quickly as we take on uh, more of the, the uh, collective energy as well. And of course, always pay attention to, to how your body feels. There's just a basic meridian chart. It just shows you all the various meridians that are in your body. And um, when you look at the physical symptoms that you have, the emotional symptoms, you might notice that certain uh, parts really are standing out this month. And if you look at your meridian chart, you may be able to then say, oh, I can see that um, perhaps my lung meridian is the issue. Liver meridian. As I said earlier, the liver, the gallbladder, and the kidney tend to be uh, the meridians right now. Tend to be the ones that are really getting activated. So we'll do a little bit of work in regard to help with the, uh, the liver and the um, gallbladder meridian. Just a minute through some exercises. Here again, uh, just another example of the meridians. Uh, the twelve meridians: the lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, the pancreas. Uh, heart, small intestine, bladder, kidney, uh, heart governor, triple um, heater, gallbladder, and the liver. You can see all the different channels that they take up in the body. Paying attention to what is happening for you can help you deal with the energies coming in. And as I said, we'll do some meridian Qigong movements in just a little bit, which may help you alleviate some symptoms. And a longer video is at the end, which will guide you through a longer meridian Qigong routine. The gallbladder itself rules choosing between options, decision making, and good judgment. What course is right for me? It helps us find our life direction anytime we are wallowing in procrastination or indecision. On a physical level, the gallbladder assists digestion to keep it moving, body flexibility, and tendon strength. It carries out the plans of the liver, providing courage and initiative to keep our life moving, including emotions. So you can see how the gallbladder, whether meridian, I don't know why I'm probably saying that. <laughs> Gallbladder meridian um, can be the one really getting activated right now because a lot of that stuff is coming up for us. I guess that's my throat chakra getting activated. <laughs> the blockages out of there. Okay, the gallbladder influences the sides of head and body. It transforms kidney vitality into action. The gallbladder rules sleep as it is associated with the deep sleep point from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. specifically insomnia, or waking up in the middle of the night and being unable to fall asleep may indicate a deficient gallbladder. Timidity, indecisiveness, and being easily discouraged can also be signs of a weak gallbladder. These are just some simple exercises that I've just been through for a couple of 
life is to help with the gallbladder and the can't hear it very well in this video. But it's just to breathe up through, uh, into, up to the ribcage, down, and then out. And then you bring your legs back together again. And you'll just do this on both sides of the body. Breathing in and up and down and out. And of course, coming back together again. Back, your feet back together again. Coming to the middle. Just tracing the lines of energy along those meridians. I'd say it's a very easy movement. Nothing too harsh about it. Just breathing in and out as you move. Really getting the energy of that meridian going. Breathing in and up to the rib cage. Exhaling, pressing down, out, back together. Do this a number of times on both sides. And just bringing your energy back to center. Just relaxing, center, grounding, grounding exercise. And of course, use the masculine and feminine energy. One of the main criteria often used to decide whether you should put your left or right hand on your dantian in your Qigong practice is what gender you are. According to yin yang theory, males are categorized as yang and females are categorized. So, if a male wants to strengthen his innate yang character, he will place his right hand in contact with his dantian, his left hand on top. A female would do the reverse and put her left hand in contact with her dantian, her belly, and her right hand on the top. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on. To balance the gallbladder meridian, if you don't want to do an exercise, you can set a clear intention to build your health. And you would just start at gallbladder one point. It shows you on the diagram here. The outer corner of the eye, you trace up to the forehead, inside the hairline, around behind the ear to the back corner of the head. Trace back to gallbladder 21 the big bone in the spine, forward around the shoulders, down the sides of the torso to the hip bone, down the outer leg, ending on the outside of the fourth toe at the gallbladder 44 point. You want to do both sides together or one at a time to do this. This again is to balance the gallbladder brain. You just want to trace the energy flow using those points in the diagram. Now to clear the gallbladder meridian, always start with uh, an intention. So here you want to set a clear intention to build health. And you're just going to trace backwards from what you just did. You're starting at GB44 on the outside of the fourth toe, going up to the gallbladder one point at the outside of the eyes. Of course, of course go through from the toe, up the outer side of the leg, up to the hip, up to the inside of the shoulder, around the shoulder, back of the head, up to the hairline, then up the back of the head, and around the ear to the eye. You can trace both sides together or one at a time. 
and then trace forward three times as above. Both sides at the same time are one after the other. This would be using both, both your right hand and your left hand at the same time, or extend one hand and then the other, depending on what you feel comfortable doing. Now the gallbladder is the yang organ paired with the yin liver and the wood element. The gallbladder's job is to absorb any excess any excesses from the liver. Since the liver's job is to create smooth flow of qi, which is life force energy, together these organs help regulate blood, digestion, and emotion. The liver is seen in Chinese medicine as the general in charge of planning, and the gallbladder is her right hand helper who uses the liver's vision to make judgments and important decisions. Gallbladder consciousness issues. Anger, decisions, discernment, motivation, courage, release, mobility, flexibility, movement, confidence, strength, regulation, assertiveness, speaking up, commitment, and fidelity. Common patterns of gallbladder excess or deficiency could be timidity, inability to make decisions, nervousness, condition to expect criticism, irritability, depression, pain on one side of the head or the body, bitterness, unfaithfulness, hypochondria, sluggish digestion, blurred vision, dizziness, craving greasy foods, startling easily, indigestion, especially after fatty food intake, bloating, flatulence, passing wind, gallstones, acute abdominal pain, and high cholesterol. So that's a lot of things there going on. So if you have a lot of those, you might want to take a look at your gallbladder and what you can do to help it alleviate those symptoms. So gallbladder's best friends are healthy fats such as coconut oil, olive oil, and fish oil, fresh fruits and vegetables, vitamin C, fiber, nuts, buckwheat, liver, regular vigorous exercise, hemp, turmeric, beets, black seed oil, avocados, blackberries, lemon juice, unfiltered apple cider vinegar, and dandelion. So if you're craving any of those foods, that's a good indicator that your gallbladder really needs those things. Now your gallbladder's worst enemy Repressed anger, resentment, bitterness, sugar, alcohol, so soy oil, vegetable oils, GMO oils, statin drugs, obesity, potatoes, pasta, rice, dairy, cheeses, grains, and sweets like donuts, biscuits, cakes, fritters, and pancakes. You know, all that good stuff. <laughs> so emotionally, psychologically, what are we going through right now? Well, a lot of us are just finding that people uh, are coming back to us, returning, a realization of cycles, we're having good dreams, we might be getting a lot of bouts of laughing or crying, a feeling of impatience, perhaps some paranoia. Um, often we get the paranoia when we're really uh, switching frequencies. Um, and a cessation of relationships, all of a sudden things just end, maybe at the work level, at the personal level, your hobbies, and so forth get people that are returning to you in order to close those cycles up for you to make a final choice or evaluation to uh, a lot of anxiety can be happening right now as well as the energy changes so much spiritually we are really creating our experiences and we're understanding that more that our thoughts and our choices create our reality um, many of people uh, many people that see things visually are seeing orbs colors um, there's a, an increased desire to find others like ourselves. Um, those that identify as blue rays or indigos are getting many activations and are getting heightened intuition. Star seeds in particular are doing a lot of lower chakra work, so that's where you may be getting a lot of the bloating and the indigestion, constipation or diarrhea, um, issues of coming up, coming up of um, uh, suddenly quick to anger or not feeling secure, um, a lot of um, childhood issues are coming up. So a lot of those those things that we really need to clean once and for all and clear once and for all coming up for us. Uh, a lot of star seeds right now are just looking to avoid crowds that don't want to be around. A lot of issues concerning the Orion Wars uh, are coming up as well and a lot of the trauma that star seeds identify with. Presenting themselves. The Lyran energy of the 8 8 um, uh, portal energy is coming in as well. That is a very powerful gateway 
energy that can come in a good six weeks to two months before that happens. So we're dealing with that as well. Um, Palladian light codes are very powerful. Connections to our Palladian guides uh, are being exacerbated. Or you might be getting um, an upgrade of your Palladian light guides or more Palladian guides. Uh, work about heart activations and upgrades are going on for some. And um, it's a Syrian gateway as well. So if you identify with the Syrian star system, you may be really um, getting activated a lot or noticing a lot of symptoms right now. Recommendations, of course, just ask for a reduction in symptoms. Speak to your guides, speak to the universe, and tell it what you need. Uh, being outdoors um, really helps to be amongst nature. And hydrating, of course, um, the need for movement, light exercise like Qigong or Tai Chi can be really helpful if you do need more vigorous exercise for that gallbladder um, uh, in a heightened way. Um, then you might want to um, find exercises that really align with you that, that don't hurt those joints. Uh, maybe more um, a vigorous yoga or something like that can be really help. Um, but of course, if um, the joints are really having um, issues, presenting issues for you, then just find an alternative that can really help you just really um, push that energy through. So that's why we like to use Shigong or Tai Chi, but you can also um, go through it much more, uh, more quickly or do a little more uh, deeper um, inhaling and exhaling as you do it to make it more vigorous. Trail walking is really good. Sending light to those areas that um, are feeling pain. Visualizing the areas um, and issues being traumatized. Um, just transmuting them, you know, with that light and with that love. That you need cell baths are really important right now. Working with water, taking uh, uh, foot baths. Um, if you're doing your dishes, uh, putting your hands in the water. Just really feeling that connection to water and sending your attention of the healing from the water. Earthing, of course, being outside, walking um, with our feet on the ground, and just really feeling the connection to that nature and the energy there. Finding others that are going through what you're going through is really helpful. And of course, always going into love for yourself, for the environment, for others as much as you can. Really also, um, if you're getting a lot of cramps, look at your um, magnesium. It can also help regulate your bowels as well, give you uh, good night's sleep. Often it's done in conjunction with calcium, of course, two minerals tend to work well together. Milk vessel, which um, is a detoxifier, we're detoxifying a lot of organs right now. That's a great detoxifier for uh, for the liver. Chlorella is a great um, green food that can help absorb the toxins in your body, as uh, can spirulina down there. Moringa is great for um, inflammation of joints and arthritis. Activated charcoal is another great one to use if you're really gassy um, and have those bloating issues. It can help to uh, absorb those to toxins. Um, and it'll, it's of course, help to detox and balance your minerals and clear out your bones. Um, and just allowing your body to go through its process. You know, be patient and be kind and loving to yourself. So thank you very much for watching this. We're going to conclude with a video, um, which is, um, includes some basic stretches and exercises and some breathing that you can do to help your gallbladder burning at this time. Thank you so much, and we'll look for you next month or um, before then, if anything should come up in regard to the energies or into doing some things that can really help us with our ascension symptoms. Thank you. Thank you so much, light workers and star seeds. Have a wonderful journey. I'll talk to you soon. Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do for your gallbladder meridian. Your gallbladder meridian, first off, runs from your fourth toe up your leg into your torso and then wraps around the side of your head, just like you see in this diagram. So we will do some exercises that help you open up some blockages in your gallbladder meridian. Let's first start with some head tapping. 
Bring your fingers like this, relax your wrists, and tap your temples. When you tap your temples, try not to tap like this, all tense. Relax your wrists, relax your fingers, and tap your temples like this. You can close your eyes too if it helps you relax and help you feel your body a little bit better. Tap here and breathe out. Ooh. 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 Let's tap here 30 times. One, two, three, four. Tap all around your temples. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. If you feel pain, that's a good sign. Blockage is coming to the surface. Breathe out. Ten more seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Stop. Now, bring your fingers onto your head and your thumb onto your temples. Now in circular movements, massage your temples like this. Make circular movements with your thumb. Keep your mouth slightly open. If you close your mouth, you're not gonna be able to push out the toxins that you're, coming, you're making come to the surface. So make sure you leave your mouth slightly open. Ha, and breathe. Ha. For 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the other way. If you did clockwise, then go counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, great job, sweep, 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 great job. Next, bring your left arm to the floor, right hand, take a deep breath in, and stretch over to the left side. Ooh. Try to keep your knees not like this. Try to keep your knees down and just feel the stretch in your side. Side extending all the way to your arm and out through your fingers. Gently bouncing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stay here, stretch your fingertips a little bit more. Feel the stretch on your side, opening your gallbladder meridian. Three, two, one, return. Ha. Okay, now switch. Right hand on the floor. We're going to stretch to the right side now. With your left hand, breathe in. And stretch over to the right side. Exhale. Woo. Make sure you're stretching all the way out through your fingertips. Gentle bouncing. Keep your knees flat on the floor as much as you can. One, two, just little bounces. Three, four, feel the stretch on your side. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stay here, stretch. Feel the really big, long stretch on the side. Opening your gallbladder meridian. Point your fingers towards the wall a little bit more. Three, two, one. Return. Ha. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your head, shake your shoulders, shake your neck, shake your spine. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, stop. Now if those side stretches feel really good, feel free to do more sets, left and right side. The more you do, the better it is to open. Okay, next. 
Bring your legs to the side. You don't even have to do perfect splits. Just legs to the side. And make sure your sits bones are flat on the floor. Okay? So if your legs like this, move side to side. Just gently first. Feel the stretch in your legs. This is also good for your inside of your legs too. Lightly like this. 10 seconds. One. Two. Feel your legs. Four. Each bounce, try to go a little bit more. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, stop. Now bring your hands forward. You're going to take a deep breath, and then as you exhale, push your upper body forward. You will feel stretching on the inside and also the outside of your legs where your gallbladder meridian is. Okay? Hands on the floor. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale out, bend forward. Stay here. If you feel pain, that's okay. Breathe out. Keep your toes pointing upward. Ha. Stay here. Three, two, one. Return. Now we're going to do that two more times. Breathe in. Exhale, bend forward. Ha. Keep your toes pointing upwards. Relax your legs, relax your shoulders, relax your head, back. Feel the stretch in your legs and breathe. Ooh. Ooh. Three, two, one. Return. One more time. Can you feel some stretching even though there's a lot of pain here, right? Most people have a lot of pain here because we sit down for a long time. That's okay. With stretching, you'll be able to bring circulation to your leg, especially your gallbladder meridian. One last time. Hand on the floor. Breathe in. Exhale. Stay here. Try to go a little bit more downward. Ha. Three, two, one. Return. <sighs> Great job. Bring your bottoms of your feet together. Pull your feet in towards you and butterfly. Butterfly. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And great job. Now, last exercise. You're going to bring your legs like this. I'll show you from the side so you can see a little bit better, but you don't have to turn your body, don't worry. So, bring your feet flat on the floor, and then with your pinky side of your fist, tap. Along the outside line of your legs. Like this. When you tap, you'll feel some soreness. Especially towards the hip area, you'll feel some soreness. So you can start from your ankles, or if you really want, you can start from your foot. Remember, your gallbladder meridian starts out on your fourth toe. So you can start from the top of your foot, and then tap the outside of your leg. Breathe. Ooh. Don't hold your breath. Breathing is probably the most important part, so you can release heavy energy from your body. Ha. 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 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 20, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. Stretch your legs out, pull your toes inward, touch your toes or as close to your toes as possible. 
Ankles are fine, knees are fine, even thighs are fine. As close to your toes as possible and bouncing. Breathe. Ooh. You can feel the stretching on the back side of your leg and even outside of your legs. Ha. Ah. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And return. Great job. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Shake, shake, shake. And stop. Great job. How do you feel? Your gallbladder meridian is so big, it runs your whole side of your body. So when you make stretches that stretch your sides, stretch the outside of your legs, and tap and stimulate your head area, your temple area especially, you'll be doing exercises that help open up your gallbladder meridian. And of course, just one 10 minute exercise is not enough to completely open that area, so please feel free to repeat any of the exercises or watch this video again and do the routine over again. You did great!